you know what time it is? No, not that time. It's time to upgrade your grooming routine. Here's five reasons why you need the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 Performance Package. Number one, it eliminates bathroom tears with advanced skin safe technology. Number two, it's got a 7,000 RPM motor. Number three, it's got 4,000K LED spotlight for low light trimming. Number four, it's got a built-in travel lock to preserve battery charge wherever you go. And number five, it's completely waterproof so it can be taken everywhere. Now here's five reasons why you don't need the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. just as I expected. The performance package isn't just all about the lawnmower 4.0 though. It also includes the Weed Whacker, which will deliver the amazing performance you'd expect from Manscaped for trimming hair here and here. It also features propriety skin safe tech, 9,000 RPM motor power, 360 degree rotary dual blade system, and again, waterproof so gift yourself the gift of grooming and get 20 percent off plus free shipping by going to manscapes.com forward slash fred link in the description team that summer growth with manscaped proud sponsors of fred's voice asmr who's he Myself in July. Call this a house, a ghastly area. Oh, dreadful, dreadful, absolutely dreadful. I notice that you've made yourself very comfortable. Hello there. Uh, how nice of you to um, to come and greet me there as I was just making my way. I hope you don't mind that I've closed the curtains there just purely because I didn't want anyone to see me come in. Okay, so we'll keep those. Uh, nice and close there as well. Thank you so much for making such an effort there to come and uh, greet me and uh, let me in. I'm afraid that I may have broken your door just opening that up there, so I hope that's not a problem there for you. No, no, I won't sort it out, don't you worry. Okay, so you are here in your own... This, this is your house, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I thought so. It's absolutely horrid. Um, yeah, so you, you booked in for your haircut. I'm afraid there must have been a little bug on the system there because I would never come down to this side of this area, shall we say. Okay, and usually uh, people uh, come and greet me uh, upon arrival and uh, you've got to do all of those things. Okay, so you're booked in for your haircuts. Okay, you were unable to make it in the store today for some reason. It knows to me, I don't know why, nor do I care, nor do I wish to ask questions. Right. So I have all my equipment here with me to uh, create a masterpiece, no doubt, uh, which will be a great effort with uh, people such as yourself. I can just hang that up there if you don't mind. Actually, I'll pop that here. I don't wish to come in contact with uh, any miscellaneous items you have lying around here. Okay, so please tell me what you would like done with your hair today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I really switched off there. Um, and what usually happens in this scenario is that because I'm a professional in the art of, you know, what I do, I'm able to use my expertise, my intuitive sense, to create a hairstyle which is suitable and fitting for you and your hair and your social status, or shall we say, situation, uh, which you have ended up here. Okay, so it's left me to come up with my 
own designs for you. And uh, I noticed you haven't had a haircut in a little while there, and there appears to be a little bit of overgrowth there. There appears to be a little bit of overgrowth there. Okay, on the top it looks a little bit like it's been neglected for quite some time, so we can pop a little bit of volume in there, a little bit of volume in there, and take out a little bit of that volume there. It really doesn't go. So I'm guessing your natural flow of hair can go a little bit back there. This would go a little bit back there, and we could level that out about there. I think that would look pretty good. This is just a quick examination on you. You don't need to do anything, or be required to do anything, apart from what you're being a master at so far, is sitting down and doing absolutely nothing. Okay, that was such a great host you were to, to offer me anything, not that I'd accept it anyway, because I wouldn't wish to touch any more of your items or anything, and I hope you don't mind, I haven't taken my shoes off either, and I was sure to walk in, in all the dirt I could possibly find in that big puddle out there as well, I decided to take a little trip through there, so forgive me if there's a little bit of a mess on your floor, but that's uh, one of the perks of home visits, plus that all of you, which is trimmed and cut, I should have no problem of brushing it all down onto your floor for you to sort out. So we can brush all of that away for you, you know, brush it all and brush it all on your floor. And just one of the, the things when I go and do home visits, of course, is that I, I don't clean up anything. Of course, this isn't my store and, you know, uh, the person is in, the home is their castle. And uh, this is not my castle, this is not my keep. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but certainly something more suited to a peasant, shall we say. Okay, so uh, I've neglected a tidy and thing of yours. I hope you don't mind. Thanks awfully for understanding. Right, so I think we can select some scissors for you for your card. I'm seeing something, something really great and you're going to love, I'm sure. This will really smarten you up and if you go, of course, into town and things like that. Um, people will know this. You know, you can come see me, and I'd prefer them not to know that you've had a home visit. I could just walk out here straight away. But I just don't know I'm here, and I hate to see her in trouble like yours. And I think we can do a lot here to help you out and smarten that up for you and give you an amazing haircut. I think it's possible. Miracles do happen, and I think. We can do that for you. Okay. No doubt you know before we begin that any home visit is contrary to the, the price. Remember, we don't, I personally don't deal with all of that. That's uh, something else, but we'll get onto that later on. Okay, so we're going to select the appropriate Bob Shop scissors, uh, which I've accumulated. Every scissor has. Uh, benefits for different types of hair, for different cuts, different trims, and I believe that there's going to be a couple, of, if not a few, suited for you and your bismol. I mean, you and your hair. Turn and we will. Mystify around here. This 
so just making sure that you've got no knots there. Get rid of all of that here, yeah, which has been neglected, no doubt, and not looked after. Okay, and I'll just brush through all of whatever you've been doing out of your hair there. There we go. Same again here, we'll do the same there, brush it all out. There we go. just a sort of protocol when I go and do home visits. Okay, usually it's in castles or, or perhaps Lord Farquhar that's unable to, to get in his horse and cart and come visit the, the store. In which case I go and visit Lord Farquhar. He sends out a cart for me. Uh, I noticed that you failed to do anything of that uh, caliber, of that ilk. So um, I am instantly knew that uh, I was probably visiting someone a little bit unsavory. Okay, so uh, usually someone will invite me over. I'll bring all my stuff, my equipment to cut their hair. So what I'll do is go through a selection process uh, with the barb shop scissors. I'll take a lot of the equipment uh, with me and it's finding the right pair of scissors for your hair. So what do I see from your hair? I see broken promises and disappointment, disloyalty, dishonesty, you know, these are sort of the natural things that I would expect from, from someone like yourself, okay, it's a bit of a drag, okay, on, on our upper class society here, okay, so we sweep that back a little bit there, okay. So with me, here are the selection of pop shop scissors which I'd use. So I would, of course, be a professional perfectionist and, uh, and skilled in my art. Um, I can select the appropriate scissor uh, to cut the appropriate type of hair. So your hair, I would say, is a, is a low class style of, uh, of hairstyle. Uh, the quality is uh, a little bit different, a little bit unique, shall we say. So I won't be needing that one. It has a very sort of 
natural flow of its own, like it's been doing its own thing for I don't know how many years. Uh, so that means so we we'll probably won't need that one. If you use something a little bit sharp, I think that could could be used for, for a bit later on in the process there as well. Though I must say that probably cheaper scissors would be more appropriate for you. Just something which I wouldn't wish to damage my scissors or pick up anything that bad. So I think this would be very well suited for you there as well. Also, I think just in the large quantity which we are cutting here and trimming up, I think less effort for me would be more. And um, I think a large pair of scissors, this is seven inches, would uh, benefit your particular hairstyle. Okay, next I think, would that be suitable for yours? No, your hair tells me it probably won't need a pair of scissors like that. And this would be just a little bit small for what you've been growing there over the last, I don't know, century, okay? We will definitely need those to thin it out in various places, so that would be very useful to you. We'll pop that there. Okay, and oh no, these are far too superior for your hair. I don't think they would uh, like to get close to your hair. Hmm, would that be useful for you? I feel like it might be a good one, but these are quite new, so I don't think I'd like to use them on you. That's a personal uh, preference of mine. Right, this slightly more rugged pair. Uh, this we usually use on people with well looked after here, so no, probably not that. And then finally, our quite modern uh, barbershop scissors, and, and these are for, let's say, people in society who just deem themselves a little bit more of the modern era. We like to keep things a little bit traditional as much as we can, but we have to cater for everyone, and sure is a pleasure. There is money in all the of society uh, in our area, so we have to make sure that they have always be happy. So I think probably not those few, these are modern stylish pairs. So we've selected here our appropriate scissors for you, for your cut. Okay, and then the thinning ones there as well. So to thin your hair, you will thin it with these a little bit thinning there, and the great volume and stuff. This for the larger areas, the larger cuts will be very useful for your hair. We have our cheaper, cheaper pair of scissors here. You know, well, they're not cheap, but of course they're, they're the bunch. It's more suited for you, shall we say? And then finally, our, our scissors here, very precise cutting to do with. So your hair is already swept back. Right. Are you feeling comfortable? Please don't talk to me. Mr. Good Home Visits, um, they invite me uh, in, you know, they have a sort of social element. Lord Farquhar would, of course, greet me with a little parade and, you know, it has all these people there and uh, I get a royal welcome, effectively. Here, yeah, I get absolutely nothing. Uh, so I'd like to take these things into consideration when we, uh, when I do home visits and I cut people's hair. Uh, yours is the very first who has not made any effort, uh, let alone you can couldn't even open the door there, that was most irregular. Usually the servants come out and greet me and things like that, at the very least you didn't do any of those things. So I've taken these little items into consideration with, with the particular hairstyle we're going to give you today. Okay.
scratch that, get that all out of your your face. There we go. Don't worry about your floor, it's all falling on there. So the last seven inch. So just here, this is just for more longer cuts. So when I go across and pull it on my fingers, so I'll brush, pull it on my fingers, chop, 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 and then brush, put it on my fingers, and chop. This allows me to get more of a precise cut. So how long would you like your hair here? Well done. You're not talking, just as I said. Well, there's hope for you yet.
minute is just taking up the volume we have here. How long would you like your hair there? Don't worry if you wish to speak just for this instance. Okay, so the figure is about there, there. Okay, it's all about finding the natural part and what works with your hair, where it flows, where it wants to go. say that I do an absolutely fantastic job on what I assume to be a bit, a bit of a lost cause if if I'm brutally honest. Um, I didn't think that yours would be uh, a haircut which would be achieved or to be something to be admired about, though I think so far we have created a little bit of a masterpiece, if I may say so myself, and uh, that of course is testament to me and nothing to do with you. So now I'm going to be combing out and then thinning out your hair. Do this with a mixture of comb and then with my fingers as well. Whatever bits I think can do it just a little bit thinning. That creates a little bit more volume but takes out some of the volume as well in various areas. In fact, I don't need the comb at all. I can quite easily do it.
to just a little bit more at the top here. The way that flows down, I think that's pretty perfect. No, 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 I'm not complimenting you, I'm complimenting your hair. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, don't feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. Right. Let's add a little bit more. For sure, the Lord Farquhar isn't coming down to there, so I know he's he's out and out of town at the moment. I think he's interested in conquering uh, another town around here just to expand his little kingdom he has around here. Gladly, so as well. We need more people like like me than um, the people like you, and of course, in every place and area that you go to there's always going to be people like you unfortunately and that is it's such a strain on such an amazing place that we live around here we've got all the things that we need we just don't need people like you i'm afraid but i suppose we have to coexist together don't we and just keep an eye on the lower class riffraff such as yourself. No, no, I'm just clearing off my gown so I can uh, retrieve it from you. Okay, just a little bit closer here. I'll get a little bit further away. Excellent. Okay. So, do you have any more plans for the day? shop as well and I'm quietly confident that will gravely improve your general general smell as come in here it's not that you smell bad um, but it's not that you smell good either so I would recommend going there personally 
Absolutely delighted to see you. So, if you do go to any of those places, be sure to let them know that I sent you. I've got a little bit of just a clean up there for you. Okay, just a little bit there. Okay, a little bit there. Okay, just give a little bit of a parting gift here. Enjoy it. Someone will be around to settle with you. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.